What's going on everybody? Chris Carter, Wild Cherry Van. Just wanted to uh, bring it to you live, give you, you know, a couple quick updates on the van. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, all I'm doing is going through the thinking process right now. I can't really do much until I get my parts van, and uh, that is uh, supposed to be coming <laughs> next week. So that's what I'm hoping for. This weather's kind of got us backed up a little bit. The uh, parts van is coming from New York. So, but uh, here, here's what's going on with the van. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn this thing around here. Um, <clears throat> I know I said I was going to try and use a lot of parts, you know, original parts. Some of them are just unsavable. With the, uh, with the fire that it was in in 04, a lot of the metals warped. And when that tree fell on it, it really did a number on it. I've been trying to work it out. Uh, you know, a lot of hammering and a lot of dollying, um, but it just doesn't really want to seem to come out too well. It's, you can see the metal's pretty stretched. Um, and plus, not only that, the inside structure, I can't get it to X out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from right there. I'm going to leave this pillar. That's the door pillar. I'm going to leave that pillar. But I'm going to cut from right in the middle, and I'm going to remove, number one, the entire roof skin, um, you know, all the way around. I'm going to leave all this structure, because it's good. I'm going to cut it right here at the factory brake line. So, but all that will be gone. I'll have a completely new roof structure and skin. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this pillar because you can see that's the reason that I can't get it to X out. It's just crushed down too far. So <clears throat> I'm going to replace this pillar as well. And then that'll bring my door in. I'll be able to hinge this door on the factory hinges. I'm going to leave this pillar alone. Uh, and then basically this whole side and down I'm going to replace um, and then I plan on doing something special with this side of wild cherry I don't plan on throwing it away or anything like that so you know it will be used and saved I am gonna go ahead and use the doors off my parts van they're the same doors uh, they're just in a lot better shape there's no rust on them um, there was no no rust on these doors, but they're just in such horrible shape and like I said that fire really warped them pretty bad So just kind of getting the, the firewall ready for a paint, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the K member um, You know and, and Doctor that up real nice and then just set it back up in there instead of trying to fight with the motor and, and dropping it in I'm going to go ahead and use the parts van door for the passenger as well. Uh, just like I said, the, the fire really warped it. You can see it kind of lines up on the top, but down here, it's just so tweaked and warped. It's, it's really bad. But, you know, the two fenders up in front look pretty good. Uh, I'm going to use the slider door. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and work out this back, uh, back quarter two of the original. So, you know, it's the wild cherry. You can only do what you can do. So, but that's the update for now. Uh, hopefully that parts van gets here. And once that sucker gets here, man, I'll have this thing going in just a couple weeks. Literally driving on its own power. So, and once that happens, I'll be able to do a lot of more body work on it you know be able to get the roof skin on it the other side skin the back doors the two side doors I'll have all the glass um, you know like I said every, everything basically that I need I'll have to um, I'll have to fill in the windows on the doors the rear doors because they do have windows in them but um, you know it's going to work for what I need. So thanks for listening. Tell all your friends to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. 
Happy Friday. Peace.